All right, guys. Um, this is my mini truck right here. Uh, I'm having a lot of problems with this carburetor. So I decide to replace it with, uh, with a motorcycle one. This is the one I bought from eBay. Almost identical to the one to the original one. To this one right here. But it didn't work either. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to replace her with this one right here. This is a motorcycle one. 250 cc. And these are the parts I'm gonna be using. This is the flange. It goes right here. And I'll let you know how it comes up. Okay? Let's start working. Okay, I'm already done with the installation of the uh, motorcycle carburetor on my mini truck okay um, this is how it came out okay let me explain you what I did the fuel pump of this truck is about 4 to 7 psi this is the the one that comes to the carburetor and this is the return for the original one now it comes right over here I put this filter when I bought the truck and I add this filter right here to reduce the the fuel pressure this one right here is the one that goes to the carburetor and this one right here, the darker one, is the return, as you can see in here. Now, on top of that, I put a, a pilot jet over here. This is a, a 42 and a half pilot jet. And this is the return right here. It comes over here. Okay, now, um, let me show you some of the parts I bought. Not a lot of parts. Um, I bought a, a, uh, a bicycle shifter cable, which is this bicycle shifter cable. And I removed the the original throttle cable. Okay, I removed the original throttle cable because uh, it was different. Now, uh, this right here was the one I bought from eBay. This one right here, and this one right here is the original one, which is pretty similar. You see, they're almost identical. But they're not like this one, the original. This is the where the gasoline comes in, and this one it's right here. Okay, so it is like this fuel comes over here, fuel comes over here. This right here was part of this. This thing right here. This was over here. And I bought this for this, but it was more comfortable to have it like this. Now, uh, this one has a return. This one has a return right here. This is why we have a return line over here. Because it has a return. So you don't, it doesn't, this one supposedly it's not supposed to to get overflowed because of the return but still it was doing it 
Uh, this right here is the idle ball um, solenoid. This one right here. Like when you go to a stop sign, this is the one that that keep the that keep the the car on idling, which didn't work. I bought that one brand new, and it didn't work. Now, um, this is the filter I bought. This one right here. This is the part number for this. Okay. This is the part number. Um, this right here is what I use for the for the pedal to install the the bicycle shifter, the cable on my on the pedal. I bought that on I bought that uh, AutoZone for like three forty. Three dollars, something like that. And this flange right here, I bought this one from eBay. This is from a Yamaha. I don't remember which one is it, but I'm gonna put uh, the part number on the description and the link so you can get it if you want. See, right here, this is 70, 70 millimeter from bolt to bolt. From bolt to bolt, 70 meter, 70 millimeter. See right here. It fit perfectly right here but it doesn't align good so what I did I cut it on I cut it right here so I can have it like this so I put the ball through here the ball through here but I put a washer in there to hold it like this you see it right there I cut the flange and I put a washer in there. This right here is the vacuum for the for the ignition. This right here and this right here. This two right here. Okay. The throttle cable. I haven't used it yet. I don't know if it's because of the weather in Florida, but I haven't used it. Anyways, um, the pilot jets that I use and the idle jets, I use the 155 and the idle jet, I use um, a 40. Okay, 44 idle. And the pilot jet I use a 155 and it runs perfect okay it runs perfect with that you don't have to do nothing the carburetor comes comes with uh, with this right here so the only one hand with me it comes with this but it's still I bought this because I wanted to try different methods see which one is better but it worked for me with a 155 and a 40 for the idle okay this flange right here came with the carburetor but it was too small this is a 40 uh, 35 millimeter it doesn't work okay over here, I use the same filter. It fit right in there with this carburetor. Another thing, very important, the spring that goes in here, the one that came with the carburetor, it was too small. I mean, it was good, it, it was too soft. So every time I um I I pressed the, the, the throttle it, it was getting stuck over here on the walls of this right here by the needle it was getting stuck because the suction from the intake it was too much 
So what I did, I went to to a motorcycle shop and I got me an extra spring. So I put two springs in there. Instead of one, I put two springs. So it could do the force to go down. Okay, so I don't have a problem with that no more. So I put two springs in there. I don't know how it's gonna be with your truck, but this one, the suction was too much. And um, if I accelerate the car, it used to stay like that. So I put another spring so it could do the force. Uh, let me show you the inside. Sorry again, I only have one hand. Okay, this is really simple right here. This is the air right there. I only did a turn and a half. A turn and a half. And this you adjust it really by listening to it. Okay, really simple. See how it came up? It came out really good. This right here, this is the the cable, the throttle cable that I'm using, which is a bicycle cable. It's too thin. I might change it later on because I don't like it like that. But um, let me show you. Let me turn it on. Oh, another thing. You see this? This is a temporary uh, choke. I might put it around here, somewhere around here, but I'm not using it. I don't know if it's because I'm living in Florida. This is the one right here. And it's kind of warm over here all the time. So I'm not using it. So I'm gonna drive the truck for a couple of days and see how it works. Okay, I'm gonna start it now. Right, it is on right now. You can even hear it. I never, never, never got to hear it like this when I have this piece of junk. They gave me nothing but nothing but trouble. Nothing but problems. See, I'm on a test driver. Close here. I'm on a test driver. So you can see how it works. See how it is. Comes right back. And Yeah, I'm gonna test drive it. So you can see the video is kind of too long, but I wanted to show you everything because um, online you don't find a lot of videos how um, about this, like how to swap the, the carburetor. It's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable for me because I'm recording with one hand and shifting and driving with the other one. Okay, you can see right here, I, I used to have a lot of problems at the stop signs like this. And now I don't, I don't have a problem anymore. It's really good. It feels really good. Let me turn this. Because I don't have AC. And it's too hot right now. Okay.
really good. I never felt it like that before. So I do recommend to do the swap. It's really cheap. Carburetor costs like around $28, $32, something like that. I don't know. I don't remember. But I'm going to put everything on the description. All the parts that I use. See, I'm doing 80 kilometer. to a hundred no problem but I won't I won't go faster because this is a 40 45 area over here 45 the speed limit I don't want to get a ticket <laughs> okay we're going back home I just wanted to show you how everything came out. See, I don't have any problem with the gas. Like the 150, 155 and the 40 is perfect for this carburetor. Everything is good. I'm gonna leave you with uh, with the video of what what kind of problem what kind of problems I was getting with uh, all the carburetor. All right, see you next time.